I want to take the time to talk about a segment on The View where the subject of 2020 came up and Meghan McCain, surprisingly, wasn't saying something that was too idiotic. I mean, still, she managed to throw in some jabs, you know, at socialists and whatnot. But for the most part, she was talking about whether or not an AOC type of progressive Democrat will be able to thwart the establishment in 2020 in the same way that Donald Trump was able to thwart off the Republican Party establishment in 2016. Now, because she invoked AOC, well, for whatever reason, this triggered Whoopi Goldberg and she ended up going into an anti-Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez rant just seemingly out of nowhere. So I'm going to play the clip for you, and I have quite a bit to say about it. So let's go ahead and watch. In 2016, we learned that the establishment of the Republican Party is insignificant. Voters voted who they wanted for. Mm. What we're going to find out going into 2020 is if the establishment really has any pull within their party like they did with Hillary, or if the vein of Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, the socialist Democrat in that vein, is going to end up being the nominee. Democratic and socialist. And I think they have the moved nominee on for what? with Warren. For the Democratic to be the, to be oh, the listen, nominee for let me, the president. Let me just say this about Ocasio-Cortez. She just got in on... Thursday, she was sworn in. Yes. Yeah. And she's very opinionated, which we like. We like opinionated yeah. women. But it is very, very difficult when people make accusations where you, that you say, you know, the Democrats have, have done nothing. The, they, the establishment of the Democrats mm -hmm. have done nothing. And I just want to throw this out to you. Um, John Lewis... Oh, yeah. ...wasn't sitting still. Right. Um, Dianne Feinstein wasn't sitting still. Mm -hmm. There are a whole bunch of people in the Democratic Party who have been busting their asses to make sure that women get what they need, people get what they need, children get what they need. So and you just got in there, and I know you got lots of good ideas, but I would encourage you to sit still for a minute and learn the job. <laughs> And, you know, and just, you know, because there are people in that party who have been working their tails off yeah. for and this they know, country. And they know a lot. And they know a They've lot. And you could And you could learn some stuff from them. Yeah. And I just feel like, you know, you don't have to be uh, born into it. You don't have to know it when you step out. But before you start pooping on people and what they've done, you got to do something, too. Well, she hasn't done That's that. well said. Well, That's really well said. there's room yeah. for new energy. There is, there there is for absolutely energy room for new energy. But you got to prove yourself. But you can't you know? poop on what was when you're right. coming in on the shoulders yeah. of quite a few giants. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So before we get into the substance there, not that there was much substance to be found in her rant because it was barely coherent, but before we get to what she says and before I respond to it, I just want to point out something because in her main takeaway, her thesis, if you will, she said this, quote, you can't poop on what <laughs> you can't poop on what was when you're coming in on the shoulders of quite a few giants. So she referenced poop. Keep that in mind. That's going to be important because I think it really gives us a hint as to what her worldview is, believe it or not. But if you'll recall, when she scolded progressives the last time, it was Justice Democrats, and this is what she said back then. Sit back and learn some stuff, and then take over. <laughs> but you can't come in and pee all over everything and say, you, you it's, it's done. You can't know. poop on what was. Pee, pee, you know. poop, poop, pee, pee, poop, 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 pee, pee. Whoopie dee scoop. Scoop dee dee whoop. <clears throat> so either Whoopi Goldberg has some weird fetish for poop and pee, or she looks down upon progressives as if we are dogs. And if your dog is being disobedient, what do you do? You have to scold them to make sure that they listen to you, that they get back in line. It's as if we are dogs who are just being a nuisance. And whenever we dare to criticize the all-knowing and benevolent Democratic Party, well, she's going to scold us because that's something that she doesn't like. It doesn't make her feel good. And really, to be fair to Whoopi Goldberg, it's not just her, because whenever progressives dare to criticize the Democratic Party and call on them to defend us or represent us, there's always some jackass in Hollywood who will rich-splain to us how ridiculous 
we're being when in reality if you live in a democracy and you want to live in a democracy and you want to support a fucking party that has democracy in their name then you should understand that this is all part of the democratic process we're not satisfied with the democratic party establishment and as a result we are criticizing them because we want them to change and we want them to do better but elites like Whoopi Goldberg they just can't take that they can't take any criticism of the democratic party because their worldview is simplified she doesn't have to look at the problems within the democratic party she just has to realize oh well republicans are way worse than democrats so how could you not support the democratic party when the alternative is fascism right-wing extremism and I understand that, but it really reveals her rich privilege. Because as all of these Hollywood elites criticize us from their ivory towers, they're missing the bigger picture. Now I want to get to that. So she says that there's a whole bunch of people in the Democratic Party who have been busting their asses. And to her, I can see why she would think that. Someone who is just a casual observer of politics would think that. Because I remember back in uh, November when we were all criticizing Nancy Pelosi and pushing for Barbara Lee, there were people within the establishment pushing back against us saying, how could you possibly say that Nancy Pelosi is not progressive and how could you say she's a conservative which is even worse when back in you know the 1980s she was on the front lines marching for gay rights and pride parades and what these people fail to realize is that there are different ways to gauge how progressive someone is or isn't someone could be socially progressive an advocate for social justice issues and really be ahead of their time on those issues and i applaud people like nancy pelosi for that but now when we have someone who's to the right of Theresa May on healthcare, I don't think we can characterize them as progressive because think about this. Nancy Pelosi is right wing when it comes to healthcare. She refuses to support Medicare for all. And not only that, she ran through PAYGO to make policies like a Green New Deal or Medicare for all impossible to pass. Someone like Theresa May, who's the British prime minister in the conservative party, thinks that every single citizen should have health care. Nancy Pelosi doesn't even agree with that, so she's to the right of the leader of the Conservative Party in Britain. That just goes to show you how out of touch the so-called left-wing party is in America. So, sure, they may be socially liberal, but what also matters is what they're doing for the working class. She also said here that I would encourage you, she says this to Ocasio-Cortez, to sit still for a minute and learn the job and, you know, and just, you know, because there are people in that party who have been working their tails off for this country, and they know a lot, and you can learn some stuff from them. Now, first of all, I just gotta point out the optics here. I mean, Whoopi Goldberg is a very rich person telling someone from the working class who was just elected to Congress that you need to sit down and shut up. I mean, the condescension here is overwhelming. This is rich splaining 101, but she says, you know, um, there are people who have been working their tails off, and you can learn a lot from them. So the over... All, I think, implication here that she tried to subtly suggest is that, well, AOC is in over her head. She's naive. She doesn't know about politics. But whoopee, you've showed time and again that you yourself don't really know anything about politics. Because when you were trying to defend uh, Nancy Pelosi and other Democratic Party establishment figures, this is what happened. Nancy Pelosi got most of that Obama bill through... Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you admire these people so much then you'd think that she'd have at least maybe one other example other than that obama bill which she couldn't even name so you'd think that she'd have at least two examples she could cite as to why these establishment figures are so important and crucial but nonetheless, she wants you to think that they're above criticism because to her, they are above criticism given the alternative. And I get it. Republicans are bad, but Democrats are awful and they're following Republicans to the right. As Republicans shift to the right, Democrats follow them. So what progressives are trying to do is course correction. We're trying to stop them as they shift to the right because as Republicans become more right wing and extreme, they are shifting the Overton window. And rather than pushing back, Democrats are following them. Now, she also says here, before you start pooping on people and what they've done, you got to do something. She's already done things, more so than progressive leaders 
so-called progressive leaders in recent years, she is bringing attention to the issue of climate change, which so-called progressives in Congress have failed to do up until this point. It's because of her that we're all talking about the Green New Deal. And furthermore, you say that, well, she can't really say anything or do anything. She has to sit down and shut up until she does something and proves you know, herself to us and proves that she's worthy to us. But maybe it's the case that people like AOC decided to run because they were dissatisfied. And you should be applauding her because what a lot of people do when they are dissatisfied with the status quo is they just check out. They stop voting. Do you even know how many people refuse to vote Whoopi Goldberg? Of course you don't. Political apathy is a real problem. And AOC is a normal person who decided to do what few people have. She decided to run for Congress. And now you're shitting on her for that. <laughs> and so getting back to Whoopi Goldberg's rich privilege, I mean, to her, it doesn't matter that Nancy Pelosi just pushed through PAYGO, which is a conservative rule that kneecaps the progressive agenda, because Whoopi Goldberg already has health care, and given that she has an estimated net worth of $45 million, she never ever has to worry about not being able to afford a medical procedure. She never has to worry about the Democrats like Joe Manchin, because her rich privilege shields her from the struggle of everyday Americans, and she doesn't have to be aware of the reality that Democrats have failed the working class. That's a fact you don't feel that will be because you are rich you will never run out of money you have 45 million dollars that amount of money is incomprehensible to working class individuals so for you to say shut up and don't criticize the democratic party maybe you should shut up and actually listen to people like AOC and members of the working class who have substantive critiques of a party that has betrayed them time and again and abandoned them but I doubt Whoopi Goldberg is going to do that because, again, she has rich privilege and she'd rather rich splain to progressives rather than listen and hear out their legitimate grievances with the Democratic Party. And it's really disappointing that even people who are supposedly liberal in the mainstream media really aren't allies to progressives or the progressive cause. Mike is a total loser, so don't hit the subscribe button, okay? And whatever you do, folks, do not hit the notification bell either. Mike treats me so unfairly.